Hello everyone. So, um, let's talk about getting started with your supplies for your, um, for your sewing room. So today I have all of these items on the table for you. They're all for cutting. So a bunch of scissors. Yes. One, two, three, four, five of them that I use on a regular basis for my projects and for my um, my everyday cutting and so forth. So, first one I'm going to show you is this one. It is a, a, a kind of a mini snip like, and it has a bent tip. And basically, you could um, use that if you had to um, rip a seam or you needed to untangle some threads. You could get that little hook right up under there and, uh, and use it for that. It's also used if you're doing uh, a lot of handwork where you're <clears throat> you need to do a little more precision type cutting like uh, for instance uh, the <laughs> patches where you need to get close to the edge of the patches and you trim and you may have seen me use these in the, one of those videos now I wanted to kind of demonstrate this one for you, this next one. Well, I guess we could use this. And it's cutting half right there. Okay. So basically, this scissor is is also um, a straight scissor, and this one is by uh, Friskers, one of my favorite uh, brands to buy, and um, it has a fancy handle on it that doesn't affect the operation of it at all, but this particular scissor is good for dressmaking or, you know, pants making, um, where you want to you know, cut a little bit as, at a time, you know, as you go, or if you have small lines to go around corners and, you know, like crutches or armholes or things like that, that's what this scissor is uh, good for. You might want to hide it because people tend to find uh, other family members who don't understand who want to cut paper with it. But that's not what we do with the sewing room scissors just just a, a, a test just a a little tip and then we have this one and I'll be quick this one has the zigzag edge on it and this is called a pinking shears so yeah the the blade probably is about the same size of the straight except the pinking shears is used to cut fabrics that tend to ravel or you know fray a little bit and so when you cut with this you get that zigzag edge and thereby there's no there's no fraying okay I'm back so as I was saying before, is that um, when you use the pinking shears to cut your fabric, you get that zigzag effect. There's no fraying and you don't need to do a, a overcast stitch or you don't need to use your serger when you use the pinking shears. 
So that would be this scissors with the zigzag blade. Yes. Okay. So now I have <clears throat> this scissors. And this is, yes, another Frisker. Yep, another one of my, like I said, my favorite um, brands to, to purchase. And um, this one I purchased because the blade is a little bit longer, probably about by a whole inch difference than the other, uh, than the other scissors. And um, with that, it gives me more leverage when it comes to what I like to say is cutting long distance. So when I get ready to cut, I can go in, throw it open, and make that cut in a longer stroke than, you know, this scissors that I may go a little bit slower, you know, more more one inch at a time to um, to get uh, through the the cutting. But this is good if you're cutting a lot of straight edges. Uh, for instance, when uh, masks were in, um, they should still be in because we're still we're still in the endemic stage. You can still get it, whatever, but. This came in handy for that. And then, if you get where you're really mass cutting, you get one of these. It is electric and it's cordless. You know, you can um, charge it, recharge it, what have you. Um, you have to learn how to handle this a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, um, you, you have to, you do have to learn how to, to handle this because it's a push and a pull at the bottom. So you've got these little buttons on the side that are actually safety locks. With the safety lock on, you can do nothing until you push one of the buttons on either side. And then thereby it lets, allows the, the blade to go. So it's a little more work. Um, at first, but when you find that you can cut four or five layers at a time, especially if you're doing something in bulk, you can cut four or five layers at one time, uh, this is your lifesaver right here. And um, yeah, so um, yep, I just wanted to share that with you. And also I wanted to show you what I was talking about with this blade with the curved edge if you had to um, remove a stitch you would just simply put the blade right up under right under the stitch and you'd be able to pull it up see how easily that comes up it makes it so much easier for your your job to get done when you have the right tools and you can just slip them slip them up under there and pull it and there you have it it started to release the seam so that you can redirect the seam in the manner that you want so that's all that's all i have for you today um all five of these are um you know basic tools that you will need getting started you may not want to buy all of them all at once um, especially the uh, the pinking shears are nice to have but they're a tad more expensive oh I forgot to tell you this one is not a frisker though this one is a singer so this one is by singer the sewing machine company so, um, and this is um, a stainless steel um, scissors and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> anyway, so, and then this is not by Friskers. This is uh, by um, Power 
rent and it's actually um, you could get one of these in um, home in a Home Depot and um, it comes with other attachments there's another blade that's for cutting leather etc and you you take take this off so you do have another replacement blade for this one and the power cord that goes with it and you know you just use your basic USB plug to attach to it to charge it this one has been sitting in the box for I would say probably two months and it still has a good charge on it so yeah it does last a, a good little while and um, I hope you enjoyed the explanation of the different sizes and types of scissors that you can get um, for your sewing room and um, I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching Let's go.